So I'll be unboxing the new Girls' Generation album, Forever One. This is the deluxe version. So I'm super excited to unbox this because they're basically like the iconic queens of girl groups in K-pop. They pretty much are pioneers of many things. For one of them being, you know, they started the whole random photo card in an album craze and they're the first girl group ever to win the grand prize that usually the boy groups would dominate and to this day there's many girl groups that are still covering their songs their iconic songs like into the new world which had a lot of impact in their country for you know various reasons and then there's the catchy viral song g and the career spanned so many years as they kind of went into more mature concepts from Genie or The Boys or Run Double Run and then the fact that they could come back for their 15th year anniversary to make a full album for their fans is really awesome. It's a very nostalgic feeling when we as fans were able to watch the Forever One music video and see how it pays homage to Into the New World. Anyways, so this is the folded poster it came with. I am definitely a fan of Girls' Generation. My bias back then was the former member, Jessica, but you know, it, it would have been nice. I'm gonna say this like maybe it's controversial, but it would have been nice if she could have joined for this, but I know who knows what happened behind the scenes. So at least we get the remaining eight members in this album. But yeah, I like them all equally. They have so much talent and each of them have distinct personalities or looks. And, you know, it's really awesome to see how they ventured off into their own career paths, but they're still active in the industry. So it's really awesome that they're all still, you know, active they're still around and fans get this treat of an album so i'm gonna go ahead and open it before i ramble anymore so i only listened to the title track for everyone and i saw that it was written by kenzie who had hand at a lot of iconic songs in sm not only sm but also other songs outside of SM but she was mainly she was responsible for Into the New World like writing the song so it's pretty awesome that she wrote this title track as well for them like the hit maker herself so I'm excited to hear how the other tracks are because I'm you know, collecting certain groups' albums. Most of the time, I like to wait until I receive the CD so I could listen to it. Unless I, you know, I'm late at collecting their albums. It's pretty awesome to be able to pop their CD in a player and then, you know, discover it at its highest potential. Discover the music at its highest potential. So after this unboxing, I'm definitely gonna play Play the CD and see how how this album came about. And from what I watched online in their variety shows, Tiffany and Sooyoung have wrote some songs in here. So their songs were able to go through the the SM approval process. So that's that's a nice treat. I should just remove the poster so it doesn't look weird. Maybe I'll do that. So from what I saw, the deluxe version is sold out online for at least some US buyers unless you buy it secondhand. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like their impact is still is still present. Enough talking.
didn't see what this album contains, like the deluxe version, so yeah, I'd be surprised. It's a big booklet, by the way. I'll go through this first, and then we'll see what else is in this album. And their team color, I think it was pastel pink. I think that's what they called it. The original center, Yuna. Her nails, damn. That's cool. I'll try to straighten this out. Taeyang, the leader. Oh. Mr. Taxi. Hyoyeon. They're all coming out of the taxi. They all still look fabulous as heck. They're like in their early 30s. And they don't even look like they got any older. Like they look amazing. Magne, Sohyun. She really gives off the actress vibe. Yuri. I know she's like the chef of the group. Like she could cook very well and shows it on like variety shows. Oh, they're all arriving in a taxi. Ooh. Looks kind of futuristic. Are they in Kwangya too? This is hmm, futuristic looking. I feel like they're in another world. Must be Kwangya. <laughs> Aww. I love the light stick. How they put it in the photo book. They're like, they're like al space alien queens. Cute. I really like the logo. I thought it was amazing. It's just so appealing. It has TG in it, the pretty pink heart, and then like a neon sign of their group name. And Taeyeon looking like a fairy queen. All of them look like princesses or queens. Tiffany on stage. These costumes are like whimsical, but also like glamorous at the same time. Nation Center Yuna. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, did it? Wasn't Yuna the one who popularized the whole center concept? Oh, this is like the poster that I have. And like simple outfits. The quality of this photo book is amazing too. Like the pages are pretty thick. And it's like a semi-gloss photo. Yeah, I guess you would call it semi-gloss. It has the smell of like a freshly opened book, like a freshly new book. I always like how she radiates like positive energy and she's always smiling. Tiffany. And Hyoyeon really made a name for herself like after Girls' Generation. I always liked her because Hyoyeon because she's like super sassy. She always had She's like quick-witted, always had a sassy 
come back to everything other people would say. Like she had like insane comedic timing in their variety shows or just like in her interviews in general. She really has like that sharp tongue. And then Yuri, I kind of see her as like the fitness queen who could cook as well. And then Soo Young, she's also like, she was really funny in variety shows. She's quick witted and always says like a snappy remark or like a clever comeback to things. She looks fabulous. Yuna. I liked Yuna and like, I watched one of her dramas, but I'm not a drama person that much. But I watched her as the assistant to Lee Hyori in that homestay show and she was like the assistant for the second season and I just thought she had like a really cool like laid-back personality but she's also like really outgoing so I kind of admire that in her she's pretty funny in variety shows as well and then So Hyun, from what I remember she's like the very studious ma magne but now she really looks like you know, like I could see her in many like big, big name dramas or films. She has the actress vibe to her now. Very cute. Oh, I'm guessing this is random. I got Suyang. I wonder what this is for. Okay. And a photo card. Maybe I should wait on that. Oh. So an ad. Per usual in SM albums. And sticker kind of looks like a map yeah that's a sticker and then is this a sticker too maybe a bookmark but i got sohyun cool and what is this song credits yeah so this is my first time seeing the track list I know Forever One was written by Kenzie, but in their variety show, they said like there's songs or a song written by Tiffany and Suyun. Okay, so each song corresponds to a position on this map. Cute. And lyrics. Oh, cool. I see Tiffany there like two times and I'm guessing in one of those songs Suyoung wrote the lyrics too. Maybe two of them? <laughs> Even the credits look nice. I'm a sucker for pink. And here's the CD. Ugh. Oh good, it's easy to pop out. It's cute, it's like it has like a rose gold sheen to it. Cute. I wonder if there's anything under it that's it. Okay, that was it. So, nothing underneath. And it comes with two photo cards. I got a group one. I wonder if it's a group one all the time or if that was just by chance. Oh, so the originators of photo cards and the photo card single one, Peter Taeon. Yay, I'm happy about that. Um, yeah. So since I got Taeon, that's pretty cool because I don't have like a mega bias. Like I kind of like them almost equally, but for Taeon, I would. 
I guess tan would be my bias because I think I said this earlier. I was saying that Taeyeon probably has my favorite vocal in general. My favorite voice in K-pop because I think her voice is so powerful. Even her speaking voice, like I think her tone is just like, it's not exactly like super husky, but it's not too like high or anything. She just has such a pretty voice. It's so powerful and like full of emotion regardless of what song she sings I think she's the queen of singing so I'm glad like she still continues to release music even 15 years in her career so yeah I got Taeyeon Kid Leader Taeyeon